Hello, it's Travis here with Orchid. I wanna show you how to use our DAP to make an Orchid account yourself using your own crypto on one of the many chains that we now support. Uh, so I'll jump right into it. So to get started, go to orchid.com slash join. Uh, you can also navigate there by going to the create account page. It sort of explains a little bit how Orchid accounts work. Uh, it's our own uh, layer two solution um, that uses probabilistic nano payments to transmit money off chain. So uh, when you make an Orchid account, you're going to uh, use a key that you get from the app um, as well as an Ethereum wallet. So you're gonna need those two things. Um, and then you're also gonna need the Ethereum wallet connected and funded uh, on the chain that you wanna use. Um, so we made a chart to help you see the different chains that we support and how much money you'll need uh, to make an Orchid account um, and start paying for VPN service in the app. And as you can see, um, some of the cheaper chains that don't charge gas have no minimum deposit or minimum balance um, on the Orchid network. Um, and the ones that do have a lot of gas fees, are you need to put in a significant deposit and balance uh, in order for the nano payment system to function correctly. So um, I'm gonna switch this uh, over to USD so I can see, uh, I'll go back to USD so I can see the different amounts. Um, I'm gonna make an, a, an account on Avalanche using Avax today. So it looks like a, I should probably have at least $5 in my deposit and probably about $10 in my balance. So I'm gonna go ahead and make an account with $15. Uh, the fund fee is just gonna be burned when I create the account. And if I wanna get my balance and deposit back, I can withdraw and that would cost me another 43 cents um, using today's gas prices. So uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is actually open up MetaMask and um, I already have the Avalanche seed chain loaded in, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys, you can go to chain list and you can search for Avalanche and then um, Avalanche mainnet is chain ID 43114. You can hit add to MetaMask and then uh, it will populate the correct information for you and then switch, you can hit switch network and then now your MetaMask has the Avalanche seed chain information and is on the right network. Um, so I have a little bit of AVAX here that I uh, sent from my Coinbase account. Um, uh, most of the uh, Coinbase uh, fully supports Avalanche and AVAX, so you can just buy the 15 or $20 that you need uh, for an account and put it in um, your MetaMask wallet. And that's kind of the first thing that you wanna do is pick a chain uh, that makes sense to you and then fund it with enough money for your minimum deposit, minimum balance, and the, the different fees. So now that I've got that going, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna get my wallet address. So in Orchid, uh, the funder wallet, which we call the funder, uh, is the Ethereum wallet that you use to create the account, um, is an important uh, thing to keep track of. So I'm just gonna actually just put it into a Google Doc um, just because that Ethereum wallet I'm going to need on my phone in just a second. Um, so I'm gonna copy that. Now I'm gonna switch over to my phone and here is uh, the Orchid app, what it looks like when you first open it. I'm gonna go ahead and click, I'll do this later. Now I have an empty accounts and an empty circuit. So. Uh, if I click on my manage accounts, I'm going to see that I have an Orchid identity here um, and the DAP is going to need that. So I'm going to copy that. Um, there's a little warning because this is not an, uh, a wallet, but this is a Orchid identity. So I'm going to copy that and then I'm going to uh, put that in this Google Doc. Um, that way I have one place that I can refer to that has both the Ethereum wallet for this account and the Orchid identity that I'm going to fund. Um, I use Google Docs for this. You can also maybe use Signal, uh, send a note to yourself, however you wanna copy the information between the app and the DAP. So um, let's go back to the Orchid app. Um, what I'm gonna do is uh, on the bottom right, I'm gonna click where it says zero hops. I'm gonna go into the circuit builder. And what we're gonna do here is add a one hop route that's paid for by the new Orchid account that we're going to make. So I click add hop, use an Orchid account, 
Now the identity that I want to use is the one that I just copied down. So I go ahead and select that. And then my funder account, this is going to be the Ethereum wallet. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back over here. I'm going to grab the Ethereum wallet. This is the Ethereum wallet that we're going to fu fund. And so that's why we call it the funder. And so I'm going to paste the address in here and you can see uh, there it's now fully pasted in. I'm going to choose chain. I'm going to choose the avalanche chain and hit save. So now I have a hop and the funder account is my Ethereum wallet where, I, where I've put the AVAX and the Orchid identity is uh, a identity that I've gotten from the Orchid app. So those two items, the Funder wallet and the Orchid identity are two things you've got to kind of keep track of with Orchid uh, for the payment layer. And so that's why I like to put them in a Google Doc. So the app now is showing, uh, if I go back to the home screen, I've got an empty account. Um, so I'm getting a warning sign there because there's no funds in it. So let's fix that. Here is our Orchid dApp. It is at account.orchid.com. I'm going to go ahead and connect it to my wallet. Um, and then it's going to ask me for the Orchid identity and I've got it right here. This is again, I, what I got from the app and the Orchid identity is a key pair, um, that allows you to spend money from the account. So if you share your Orchid identity, if you take your key and copy it, uh, to a, this is how you copy it to different devices and you can spend from this account using this key. Um, but the funds can only be removed with the Ethereum wallet. So there's a little interplay between the Orchid identity and the Funder wallet. But so what I'm going to do now is I'm, I've connected my Funder wallet. I put in my identity. It's found the empty account. And I'm going to go ahead and add funds to my balance and deposit. So how much should I add? Well, let's see. I'm going to go back to the chart. The chart is showing me that I want to do well, about $5 and $10. $5 in the deposit, $10 as a balance. So I'll switch that to token value. That's going to be 0.05 and 0.1. So those are nice round numbers. So um, I'm going to do 0.05 in the deposit in the balance, 0.1. And I'm going to hit add funds. This is going to pop MetaMask, ask if I'm sure that I want to do this. I'm going to hit confirm. And now the um, transaction has been sent to the Orchid NanoPay contract on the Avalanche C chain. And uh, we're starting to get some confirmations. And so there we go. Now the DAP has refreshed. I've got a 90% efficient account that has a 0.1 AVAX balance. And if I go back to the app, you can see that it has updated and I've got my account. Now when I go into manage accounts, I can see this funded account both in the app and the DAP. And I've got my one hop route set up that's now paying uh, using this new Avalanche account. And then when I hit connect, what's going to happen is it's going to ask me for my passcode so that uh, I can set up the VPN config. Now uh, hit connect again uh, now that I've got that VPN config activated. And it's basically going to give me a random VPN server to route my device's traffic through. It gives me privacy for my ISP and gets me out to the open internet. I hope you've enjoyed this video. That's how you make an account using Avalanche. Uh, like I said, we now support uh, eight chains and we're adding new chains all the time. We love the EVM ecosystem. And this is Travis signing off. Have fun out there with uh, Orchid Nano payments. Bye.